Located in Banff National Park on the Alberta and British Columbia border is the majestic Banff Sunshine Ski Resort. The area is world renowned for spectacular mountain scenery that stirs your soul, lifts your spirits, and challenges your riding. Topping out near 9,000 feet, Banff Sunshine is the highest ski resort in Canada. Spread across three mountains, Mount Standish, Lookout Mountain, and Goat's Eye Mountain, Banff Sunshine is a vast resort with over 3,300 acres, but it's easy to navigate between lifts and mountain summits. The resort receives over 360 inches of annual snowfall, and the high elevation can extend the season into the month of May or even June. With dry, fluffy snow and miles of glorious trails, there's so much to explore at the Ski Big 3 Resort of Banff Sunshine. The town of Banff is 90 miles west from Calgary Airport on the Trans-Canada Highway. Banff Sunshine is an easy 20-minute drive by car or bus from downtown Banff. Arrive early because the parking lot does fill up. From there, hop in line for the gondola, which takes you up to Sunshine Village. The first stop on the gondola is Goat's Eye Mountain with intermediate to advanced terrain. The area is home to the Goat's Eye Lodge with basic seating, cafeteria food, and gear storage. Perfect for bringing your own lunch and warming up with hot cocoa or tea. Expert riders will love Goatside Mountain. One lift services the mountain with stunning views of the eagles and surrounding mountains, which are sometimes a rare sight between snow-filled clouds. The top of Goatside is a wide open alpine area that drops into steep glades. We kept coming back for laps through the best glades on the resort. The trees thicken at the bottom and connect with groomed cruisers to ride back to the lift. When there's enough snow, it's worth a boot pack across the top of Goat's Eye to the remote double black chutes under rugged cliffs. We hiked to the top of this. We survived. Hit a cliff. You are at elevation above 8,500 feet, so take your time and catch your breath. After slicing between the cliffs, carve through the Eagle Glades and into the natural halfpipe gully of Eagle Creek. It funnels back to the gondola. From Goat's Eye Mountain, the gondola continues up the valley to the main area of Sunshine Village. From here, you have access to three quad lifts up Lookout Mountain, including the luxury teepee town, Angel Express, or to the very top on Great Divide. There are also three lifts on the other side of the village up Mount Standish, Strawberry, Standish, or Wawa Quad. With a unique mid-mountain village at 7,000 feet, the resort is far away from traffic and city lights. A stay in the upscale ski-in, ski-out Sunshine Lodge can feel like a snowy world away. Mount Standish has the beginner to intermediate terrain. Start your day here to warm up your legs and reacquaint with the slopes. Strawberry Express Quad has the green and blue terrain but still holds powder. Wawa Quad accesses fun glades but takes some finesse and a bit of luck getting on but it's most difficult to get onto. Yeah. Usually it's easy to get on a lift, harder to get off. This one's the opposite. From the top of Wawa, Tin Can Trees or Star Trek are fun runs, but flatten out at the bottom and are prone to getting stuck. Standish Express takes you up to the top where you can stand with one boot in Alberta and the other in British Columbia. There are also short, steep shoots for a quick thrill for experts, or solid training for intermediate riders to up their game. After warming up on Mount Standish, it's time to head up Lookout Mountain. Ride the Great Divide lift to the very top. Above treeline, carve this wide open face between Alberta and British Columbia along the divide. Lookout Mountain also has three terrain parks with small to extra large features. For trees and steep glades, hop on the luxury Teepee Town lift. You can find deep powder in this section if the wind blows the snow across the mountain and drops it in the trees. We're here in the Teepee Town lift. This is the comfiest lift on the mountain. You can tell from your knees down, it's colder. Your knees up, you're nice and cozy warm. The orange bowl protects you from all the sun that you get here. Always wear your sunscreen and, when possible, use a bubble. Yeah. 
For expert riders ready for adventure, the back door is a local secret and off-resort gully. After taking the Wawa Quad, ride down Meadow Park until you see a sign and boundary rope. After a short walk, you can drop into a valley that ends at the Wolverine Quad. It can hold powder perfect for fun turns through the trees and the gully. But warning, this is out of bounds with unmarked obstacles and natural hazards, like fallen trees. So proceed with caution, ride with a buddy, and ride within your ability. At the end of the day, you can take a groomed green or black run down the valley, or reload on the gondola to go back to the parking lot. Thanks for joining us at Banff Sunshine. We love riding here and hope you will too. Remember to subscribe to our channel to see where we ride next, and we will see you at the next mountain. Let's go find our car. Favorite run of the day? Parking lot <laughs> the run? Parking lot.